Hey, it's Greg Bissonette, and I want to talk to you about my friend Ringo Starr. I have been very honored to be in the Ringo Starr All-Star Band since 2008, 11 years, and also playing double drums with him since 2003 with Ringo and the Roundheads, his other band, and the All-Star Band combined. Four or five feet away every night is my drum hero, Ringo, and I want and urge you to really get into what a game changer Ringo has been and still is for drummers around the world. And uh, the Beatles songs he played on would not be the same songs. Uh, he's on the Beatles songs. He came up with those grooves for Come Together, Ticket to Ride. Um, I, uh, I feel fine, the one where he's like, Baby's good to me, you know. Very well-rounded beats for early 60s, mid-60s uh, drummers in pop rock bands uh, come together. The way that drum part mirrors the bass, it's just, it wouldn't be the same song. It, if, for instance, A Day in the Life, not a day in the life, in my life, where he plays one hi-hat per day in the life's amazing too. But in my life, there's only one hi-hat per measure. There are places I remember. I once asked my good friend Stan Lynch, who plays on so many of those great Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers albums, one of my favorite drummers. Uh, I said, how'd you come up with that beat on Breakdown? He said, oh, I just copied Ringo doing In My Life, and I, and I swung it, you know. Breakdown. Anyway, so many drummers that I talked to started playing drums because of Ringo. And he got me to change from traditional grip to match grip. When I see him play, when we play side by side, his swing and his the way he kind of dances while he plays, he'll throw his, his uh, shoulder into it. Sometimes we get into this rocking motion when we're playing. Look at him, I don't have a, 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 a fast stack cymbal uh, there, so I see his snare drum, I see his bass drum, and I'm looking at it going, man, don't flam with Ringo. He's got the pocket, he's got the swing, he's got the feel, and that's what it's all about, is really making songs come alive with that swing, and he's got that swing. His favorite drummers growing up, one of them was Cozy Cole, Topsy. That sort of swingy feel. And when he plays Phil's, even swing to it, even if it's a straight eight song. <laughs> Let me take you down. Strawberry field. And how about the compression on the drums, the compression on the, on the cymbals, the sound. He got us to change the way the drums are recorded and the way the drums sound um, tuning wise. And uh, I was seeing years before him, mostly artists, like you look at Elvis, Buddy Holly, you know, the drums might be st straight back behind everybody and you don't see the drummer. Ringo's up on a riser. It's John, Paul, George, and Ringo. It's, it's the four of them, it's a band being an integral part of the band. That's why I wanted to be in a band. That's still why I want to play in bands, is because you're four, five, 10, 18 people, you're the drummer that's back there, that's counting the songs off, leading the way, creating the feel, and uh, the way he sings, too. I've got to say, when I have Ringo's vocals in my in-ears, my sensophonic, very pliable, cool, good feeling in ears, I, I hear great tempo. He sings with great tempo. If he's singing, I wanna be a man, da 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 da, I wanna be a man. It's right. All 
the songs he sings, even if he's out front, he sings with the same great time and feel and swing that he plays with. And he, he got me into wanting to play and sing at the same time. I saw the Beatles when I was seven and 66, and he sang boys, he sang I Want to Be Your Man, from behind the kit, and he still does today. We just finished a really fun month-long tour of uh, North America, of, of the US. Well, we played Windsor, Canada too, so of North America. And like I said, five feet away, here's my drumming hero, and I'm just trying to get into his pocket. And, and he really is about peace and love, and just, he brings that joy to the music. He really makes it fun. One of the things I've noticed from him over the years is a lot of times we'll let cymbals ring and people will be talking. He'll hit cymbals and he'll mute them this way. What was that? Sticks underneath the cymbals. Who does that? What were you saying? Ringo does that. Okay, there's, there's several things. When I listen to his solo albums or I listen to the Beatles recordings, they weren't playing, obviously, they weren't playing with a click. His tempo was always so great, they could use splice things from different takes if George Martin, wa George Martin wanted to, but also the band time. John, Paul, George, and Ringo played like a unit. You don't listen to Beatles songs and say, wow, it's speeding up, or wow, it's slowing down. The music is just so organic. They, he listens to the vocals. He says, I never wanted to fill and get in the way of vocals. I always, I'll play a fill only when necessary and, and it works for the song. So super, super musical. And if you haven't gotten into Ringo and uh, you know, now's the time because you've got YouTube, you've got all the albums, all the remastered versions that Abbey Road remaster just came out, Sgt. Pepper. Now's the best time because on a lot of those recordings, couldn't really hear the bass drum that well. Now you can. So get into it, learn from it, and he changed the game for a, in a much better way for all of us drummers.